Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nashua. So, I actually did a friggin' live stream. And, um, I was going to talk about Black Mirror in that live stream. I did a rundown episode. And I talked about what we usually talk about in the rundown, like a bunch of different stuff. And I forgot to talk about Black Mirror. Um, but I don't have to say much because I don't like it. <laughs> And it's so bad because Rashida Jones, I see that she was a writer, but I'm not completely certain that she wrote on season six. Um, but I love her. And but I'm I'm not loving it. I'm I'm really, really not. Um, but I know the writer, he also writes with his wife as well. So I love that there is like a power couple in here, you know. I love that there's a writer couple writer duo dynamic, but I just mm, no. Um, I haven't even watched it all the way through because I really just could not get through it. Like, um, Joan, Joan is Awful was good. You know, I like that. Um, but after that, I, I really couldn't get into it. So, Joan is Awful, Lock Henry, Beyond the Sea, Maisie Day, uh, and then Half of Demon 76. So, that's all I saw. Oh, so those those are all the episodes. So okay, okay. I guess we did we didn't finish Demon seventy six because literally through the middle of it, I could not take it. I'll go ahead and tell you with full transparency. Um, I'll tell you in a sec what overarching I I didn't like it, but full transparency, Demon seventy six. You know, there's an Indian lead and a black lead, and it is very very dark, very very violent, and um. I'm not trying to say that Hollywood shouldn't show black people and people of color doing violent things. But it is rare. It's rare that you see black and people of color as serial killers. I mean, it's just true. Like, the modus operandi and uh, profile of the standard serial killer is white dude. So, um... Flags always go off in me when I see that. I know that Indian um, culture... Well, actually, I don't even know if she's Indian. She also could be... Um, <sighs> Pakistani, I'm not completely sure. But I, even Pakistani, like, both of those cultures are really kind of conservative. Like, I looked at it in the imme immediate thought as I saw her, like, hacking away at people and stuff. I was like... Ooh, I bet her parents didn't like her taking on this role. The, I speak from that as someone who has Indian friends. Just, you know, I'm not just speaking off the side of my, my mouth, you know. And black people, I mean, I just, Hollywood so often b makes black people the thugs, the killers, the murderers, um, the psychopaths. When that's, that's not necessarily who we are as a people. I feel like they tried to slide like, that she was, in, you know, discriminated against in there, but, I mean, I just, it seemed a little tone deaf, you know, in comparison to where people of color are right now in society, where we're just trying to garner um, the respect that we need across uh, executive leadership, across government, across society, across the pay gaps, across uh, poli police brutality, it just seemed a little tone deaf. Um... I love Selma Hayek and Jonah's Awful. I love this idea of the, um, how do they call it? Streamberry. I, I like that. Um, but you know what? In general, basically, I don't even need to look. In general, I just felt like it was too dark, you know? It seemed like a completely different show. Now, let me tell you some of my favorite. Some of my favorite Black Mirror episodes are Sancho Pay, um, A Million Merits, how do you call it? Five Million Merits, something like that. You know, the one with the guy from Nope. Um, I like the one with the the eye, with the, the Facebook thing, you know. Um, that one was one where it's dark, you know, but there's a moral to it. I just felt like this was all just very, very um, depressive and hopeless. And I feel like what we need in society right now is a little bit of hope. 
So in the other, you know, in San Tropez, I feel like there was a little hope there, you know. And 50 Million Merits, that's the, I think that's what it's called. You can see a little hope there at the end. Um, I just wasn't getting that here. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, I would love to know what you guys think. What, were, unlike me, would you have a different kind of idea? What did you think? I would definitely rate this somewhere, at, like, I'd say 5 out of 10 when seasons 1 through three, I definitely would have rated at like a 10. So it was very sad for me. But um, yeah, I want to know what you guys think. Put it in the comments. If you're new here, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button. Hit that bell so you know whenever I post video and I'll see you next time. Bye.